So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the obscuration layer in No Light Factory. And this is going to be a pretty short tutorial, but I uh, just want to go over what it is and how it works. Now, normally in No Light Factory, you can take your flare and move it all around, and there's really no limitations on where it's visible or where it's not visible. The obscuration layer acts as a mask. For example, if we turn on the matte layer here, and we take a look at it in our viewer, you can see that it's just a black and white layer. And where there's white, the flare will show through. Where there's black, it won't show through. So if I go back to my regular view, you'll see that as I move it off into the black area, it pretty quickly becomes uh, invisible, more or less. And as I move it back into the white area, it becomes visible again. And there's a pretty sharp drop off between the two. And if you notice, that's because it's a very hard edge right there. Now this is not really the point of the obscuration layers. In this case it's just very much on or it's off. On, off. On, off. Now what really works a lot better is if you have a very blurry obscuration layer. So let's take a look at our matte again. Now this is what it looks like now. Now let's change it to blurry matte and you'll see that it gets much blurry much more blurry. Now, the advantage to this is that the flare will taper off as it gets over these kind of gray, gray areas. It's not just white and black on and off. It's now shades of gray, and those shades of gray cause the flare to get a little bit less bright, a little bit smaller. And so if I go back to my regular view, turn on the flare here, you'll notice that, you know, it's still off, on, but in this case it sort of fades off. So I can get a very a little bit more subtle look to it. And we'll just leave it right there, just kind of poking through that archway. And that's all be because of the blur that we've applied to the mask layer. Now I can move it towards the center here and it gets bright again, or I can move it off and it goes off. But the really great thing is that you know as I get close to that edge it just slowly starts to appear. And so you can get pretty creative with the obscuration layer and create some cool effects. So hopefully that uh, illuminates the obscuration layer. And uh, thanks for joining me.